Hi, my name is Richard Oliver and it's a pleasure to talk to you today about the sector of forging and in, in particular our new material Unimax which is being used in this sector. And I say new because although it's been out for a few years, a lot of customers are only just starting to discover this new material and its good properties. Why am I talking about Unimax for forging? Well, if we look at one of the major failures in forging, it's hot wear and plastic deformation. Now, both of these are a result of a dye material losing hardness. So either it doesn't have sufficient hardness in the first place and it just loses it, or it's tempered back. So the surface of the material starts to lose its hardness and it starts to be pushed around effectively. Uh, and then also, if it's being softened, then wear comes really quick as well. So these things are often linked together. And there's some really cool pictures that we've got on screen that you can see of plastic deformation and dyes that have uh, been, uh, suffer hot wear as well. Uh, and we see this all the time. So we have some laboratory tests that show that temper back time and temperature has a big effect on tool steels. In particular, there are, there are two tool steels here that the industry uses widely, which is H13 and H11. So H11 is more used in, uh, in Germany and some European countries, other European countries, and H13 is predominantly used in North America, for example, and also Asia. But these two tool steels are actually, they're very similar. Uh, some people like to make out they're very different, but they're actually not in some particular failures. And temper back is one of them. So temper back, if you don't have a tool steel with good temper back resistance, then you lose this hardness super quick, and then wear comes really fast as well. And we have a great chart where you can see Unimax is on there, Divar, Curo 90, H13 and H11. You can see all of them together, and you can see how they temper back over time and Unimax in particular stands out because Unimax can be used up to 58 Rockwell, which is really high for a forging uh, tool steel and it can work at those application areas. So of course, when you select a tool steel, you have to, be, you have to look at the tool first, but the, if you can select the high hardness, then you can use Unimax because it might be high hardness, but Unimax also has really good ductility and toughness and we've measured this at 57 Rockwell, so really high. So it's a great material. We are finding that it's being used a lot more now all over the world, particularly in niche areas where the customer suffers from terrible dye failure. So we're talking not thousands of parts, but hundreds of parts made. And then Unimax comes in, and in many cases can transform their production, because they see their production numbers really shoot up compared to where they were before. I can use some examples. We had one customer that was maybe at 20 parts, 50 parts, and they switched to Unimax and they go up to 200, 300. And there's other examples even more. There'll be one you'll see in this video where it's 750. This is for an aerospace application. So a great material, super tough, fantastic high hardness for good wear resistance. And we look forward to seeing you trying it more on your forging dies. Thank you for listening.